In this video, I will be talking about visualizing decimals. So let us start with this figure. It's a box. And this box represents one whole. And then we divide it into 10 parts. Now we have one shaded part and this shaded part is one out of 10 parts or one tenth. In decimal, it is written in this way, 0 0.1, which is read as one tenth. Another one, we have four shaded parts out of 10. In fraction, it's four tenths. Also in decimal, it's also four tenths, but in this form, 0 0.4. Another one, we have seven shaded parts out of ten. So in fraction, it's seven tenths. Also, in decimal, it's also seven tenths. In this form, 0 0.7. Another example, we have nine shaded parts out of ten. Or in fraction, nine over ten. And in decimal, it's 0 0.9. And both are read as nine tenths. Now let's divide the box into 100 parts, just like this. Now this shaded part is in fraction form 1 out of 100, or 100. Now in decimal, it is written in this way, 0 0.01, which is also read as 100. Observe that if it's 100, then there will be two digits before the decimal point. So how about this? We have five shaded parts. That's five out of 100 or five hundredths. In decimal, it's 0 0.05. So again, there are two digits before the decimal point if it's hundredths. And this is also read as five hundredths. Another one. So let's count how many shaded parts are there out of 100. So observe that the first column, second column, and third column are all shaded. That means it's all 30 because there are three columns and each column is 10 boxes. So 30 and then there's extra two. So that's all in all 32. So it's 32 out of 100 or 32 hundredths. In decimal, it's 0 0.32, or read as 32 hundredths. Another one, we have um, five columns shaded, so that means it's 50. And there are seven extra shaded parts, then it's all in all 57. So, we have 57 shaded parts out of 100, or read as 57 hundredths. In decimal, it's 0 0.57, which is also read as 57 hundredths. So we have one more example. And we, as we can see, we have eight columns shaded. That makes it 80 in all. And we still have three extra shaded parts. So a total of 83 out of 100. So it's 83 hundredths. In decimal, it's 0 0.83, which is also read as 83 hundredths. Now, how about this? We are given uh, figures and we're gonna identify the decimal of these figures being visualized. So we have the fir first figure, which uh, is a whole box, which represents one. And then the second figure in the middle, it has two shaded parts out of 10. So it's two tenths, or in decimal, 0 0.2, which is read as two tenths. Now the third figure at the right is having eight shaded parts out of 100 so that's eight hundredths 
or in decimal 0 0.08 which is also read as eight hundredths so all in all in decimal it is 1.28 or 1 and 28 hundredths now how about this we have a given decimal it's 3 and 86 hundredths and we want to visualize this decimal so it's three holes eight tenths and six hundredths so we're going to start with the hole it's three holes and then for the eight tenths it's uh, eight shaded parts out of ten and then for the six hundredths so we'll have um, out of 100 there will be six shaded parts so all in all it's three holes eight tenths and six hundredths but it is actually read as three and eighty six hundredths so that means it can be also visualized in different way just like this so this is 86 hundredths it's 86 shaded parts out of 100 so this is still another way of, of visualizing 3 and 86 hundredths it's three holes and we have one figure that is 86 out of 100 or 86 hundredths thanks for watching and i hope you have learned from this video Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.